Today, I'm gonna ride one of the fastest roller coasters in the world, 82 miles per hour in 2.3 seconds. That's fast. Hello everybody, I'm Chris Provost, Wesley Provost Park Pass, and I'm at Knott's Berry Farm. I'm taking a lot of people who've never been to Knott's Berry Farm, their very first time, we're going here. It's like 15 minutes, maybe, if that, from Disneyland. It is so fun, it's so easy, and Knott's really focused on two things, you have to be aware of that. First, they focus on amazing food. Their food is amazing. Hey, I know you. I know you. All right, so like I was saying, they really focus on two things. One, thrill rides. That's two. One, good food. Two, thrill rides. This is, and you can come here and you can do almost all the knots in one day. So if you're on a trip down to Disney or Anaheim, or, like, or even like the, if you only have like a half day, it's like a perfect half day park. Let's go in, I'll show you everything I can, because uh, I'm gonna spend a half day here at knots. All right, so there are so many thrill rides here tons of them but you want to come hungry guys you want to come hungry we come to Knott's Berry Farm because they have amazing food their food is some of the best my wife Amanda says they have the best corn and cob she's ever had so it's that's here they have some of these great thrill rides over here I mean like this is it let's we're gonna go in and uh, I'm gonna show you all I can I'm just spending a half day here at Knott's let's do it Terrifying. all right guys they just opened the doors we are rope dropping Knott's Berry Farm and I'm gonna try to take all my friends we're gonna try to do some of the scariest most thrilling rides I guess the sad news the Ghost Rider is closed this morning uh, today but we're gonna do the accelerator we're gonna do the silver bullet we're gonna do all the like everything we can just got into Knott's Berry Farm ah, first one in okay guys this place is I know that a lot of you are we're all diehard Disney fans I get it you get it we all get that but this is a great part to do like when you're on a vacation if you have one extra day or half a day come to Knott's you will not regret it so fun all right let's go do all the attractions all right so they kind of open up the park it's a little bit early we're not we're actually in the park but we're like this is the line where we stop. This is Camp Snoopy, really fun for kids. We're gonna run through there. We're gonna go this way, all the way down to this accelerator. You can see the tip of it right through there. That's where we're going to, is the tip of that roller coaster. All right, so let me show you who I'm with, my friends. I got Jessica, Kim, and Gavin. We're all going, this is Gavin's very first time. And this nice. Jessica's been here like once, like a long time ago. It's been a while. It's been a while, and Kim. I've been here, but the accelerator has Every time I've been here for years. Oh, oh my gosh. It you go so fast it takes your breath away. You're like, Whoa. Oh, there's Ashley. She's going. Yes. What? Accelerator. Oh, I've never ridden it, but I'm excited. Smooth as butter. Hey. Alright, we're going, we're going, we're going. Super excited. We're gonna cut through Camp Snoopy and we take us good right to the accelerator because it's been closed for so long. So they just reopened it. Very excited for this. All right, so this is Camp Snoopy. They're doing a, redoing a lot of it. We literally, I'm, I'm trying to walk as fast as I can to get to the accelerator. <laughs> Going through Camp Snoopy. My, le I'm, <laughs> my legs are bounding. For those of you who maybe aren't familiar with Knott's Berry Farm, is this whole area, Camp Snoopy, is just for children. And um, we're, we're, we are the, literally the first people coming through here. We got Woodstock's bird bath. They have it decorated here. This is not normal, this is for Easter. And then we're coming over here. And then we're cutting through, oh no, oh. From there, I thought it was closed. I thought we couldn't get through. We're fine. I am walking as fast as I can because I want to get to this this uh, thrilling ride. <laughs> I literally feel like I'm like I'm like trying not to run, but my my heart's pounding. I'm I'm like here we go. I'm trying to get there as fast as I can. I'm gonna go doing what's called accelerator. It's one of the fastest roller coasters. It's like. I think it's like zero to 80 miles an hour, or maybe 90 in like two seconds, and shoot you up super high. We're entering into Fiesta Village here. They just redid up Fiesta Village. It's all, lots of things here have been redone. It's an exciting little area. They have fantastic food. There's the accelerator. That's what we're going right over there. I am walking as fast as I can to get there. And this whole area has amazing food like and like parties like they have like djs that play music out here and there's like dancing and food and drinks super fun 
Now that roller coaster is called Silver Bullet. I'll be doing that one a little later on. For if you're a daredevil and you really, that is one of the tallest drop towers. It takes you up and drops you down. Incredibly thrilling. It's still one of the few rides that I ride on it. I get that little nervousness. Okay, we're walking this way. We're almost there. Cross is for visitor of Fiesta Village and thank you for visiting the Fiesta Village. And here we go. Now, there it is. This is it, that's the accelerator. Okay, I just, I'm walking even faster. I am so excited. I cannot videotape when I'm on it because you can't hold anything onto it. It goes so fast. Okay, this ride is one of my favorite rides. It's been closed for years because I had to redo it. I had to redo the track. It goes incredibly fast. And when I say incredibly fast, I mean like it throws your arms back and then you go straight up and over. There's the track, straight up and over. And this sucker moves. Now what's in, when it gets really windy, the top of that will actually sway back and forth. That's good engineering, it's not rigid. It's supposed to do that. <laughs> We're here guys, accelerator ride entry. We blitz in a walk, we're some of the first ones to go on it. I cannot wait, let's do this. First ones, we're not really quite the first ones, but look, right here, right at the park opened up, walk straight back to Camp Snoopy, and it takes you right here. Little quick jaunt through the line, and we're gonna ride the accelerator. Uh, I hear, I hear, uh, I think the brakes just got let go. Let's see if I can see the track going here. Maybe, oh, maybe, maybe I got confused. Now, the best the best part to be in is the front car. They split the lines. If you want to ride front, you can, but you got to request it. We were just going to do the front ride, but the, the uh, guy works here. He's like, the back is better. Do the back. So now we're going, we're going on the back. Gavin and I, woo! Back's fast. Fast, fast. Gavin, this is his first time. Are you excited, nervous, or what? I'm nervous, excited, all the things. All the, all the emotions? Really? Oh, oh hey, right. how are you? It's good to see you. Going? Yeah, will you? Well, I'm ready to accelerate and take four. You're going to be flat on the ground here. Arms down, hold on tight, and enjoy your eyes. Stay up there. Hands on, hands on, hands on. All the care, BB guys are up and out of here, so sit up right. Hold on tight, we'll see you later. I'll see you in. My hair, my hair is blown back. It goes 82 miles an hour in 2.3 seconds. It, when you take off, it is like the fastest of fast. Dude, 82 miles an hour in 2.3 seconds. I'm gonna stand right here so you can see the launch. It, this is how fast, I'm just trying to show you. It's done through magnetics. There's the, there's the car right there, they're lining it up. It's got like a drag race or Christmas tree. It goes dink, 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 and then you take off and you go. There they go, oh. They, just lowered, the, they lowered it down. Watch how fast. Whoa. Up and over, you feel like you're gonna fall off, and then you come straight down. Such a good ride. All right, so this is the boardwalk area here in Knott's Bay Farm. And they got the coaster ride, they got the hang time, which is what we're gonna go do. They have lots of little boardwalk games here. It's kind of fun. Um, this is perfect. If you have, a, if you're, if you got teenagers, then this is really a good place for them. The, the rides are more thrilling than they are at Disney. And uh, when I say more thrilling, I mean we got to take it up a couple notches. They're really fun. All right, so this one's called Hang Time. It takes you right at the top, and then it stops right there, and it's gonna drop you straight down. There they are, right there, top. Look at the front row. They're just sitting there. Catch a little hang time, a little surf time, and there they go. It's all for surfing. Way to go, hang timers. All right, guys, this is hang time. We're doing it. All surf, this is a surf theme one. Hey, Ashley, what'd you think of uh, Accelerator? I loved it. I did it twice in a row. It was amazing, huh? It was so good. All right, so this one, we're coming up to this hang time. For those of you who've never been here, 
Moses writes, you cannot take your backpacks or glasses or hats, but every one of the roller coasters, they have like a little cubby for you to put it in. You just put it right there, and then when you get out the ride, you grab your, you grab your stuff. There's the little cubbies where you put your, your bags there. They're gonna clear that out. So every ride, they have all these little cubbies things in there. You just put them in there, and they close them up until you get back. So convenient. We just got off hang time. That's an intense ride. Now, you guys, I have to know, okay. <laughs> Still not sure. How was it? It was fun. It, being at the top and you're just waiting to go was oh, so fun. It's, a, it's amazing. I disagree. Uh, I thought the fun. I disagree. Well, let's see, you had a good time. I looked over and your eyes were clamped shut. I didn't open them the whole time. I couldn't physically open them. Really? I was just Ashley, what'd you think? Um, this one was great, but it was not as scary, or it was scarier than Accelerator. Oh yeah, we're missing the Accelerator. I wasn't scared of it. No, Accelerator's accelerator not at scary at all. This, this one does give you a little thrill, for sure. I will say that, that one is scarier oh than Accelerator. God. All right, so now we're gonna go do Knott's Berry Tales. It's a very fun ride. It's very easy, like there's, it's, your, it's kind of like, I would say like a Toy Story Midway Mania light. Uh, you're just sitting in a little car, shooting gun, little berries at foxes who are trying to steal your pies. Okay, here we go. Knott's Berry Tales. Well, Knott's Berry Tales. Return to the fair. I'm riding with my partner, Kim. She's here. Everybody's gone on ahead of us. Hey, how are you? All right, so give you a little berry blaster. And then you pull the back there to shoot your berries. Hi, uh, hello. Elder Berry. Welcoming you, you ready for the fair, my That's what you shoot, is you aim for pies. You try to shoot all the pies. It says I got zero, but really that's my score there. I don't know why it has me the wrong photo. Please remain seated until your vehicle comes to a complete stop. And, and Kim got 86. Your blaster and your Not bad, Kim. Very cute ride. Man, my hair is like falling straight back with all the fun rides I've been on. But that. Oh, it's very cute. Right? Thank you, Kim. Appreciate that. Uh, yeah, so this is a great roller ride for kids. I'm not exactly sure. There's only like four of us playing, and I took seventh place. <laughs> story for you. you. Ready? This bear, he goes into a bar and he orders a. A root beer. And the bartender says, hey, what's with the big paws? Okay, we're gonna go ride the Calico Mine Train, one of the most iconic uh, rides here at Knott's Berry Farm. It's a slow moving train, kind of fun. Um, this is a ride though, when Walt Disney visited Knott's Berry Farm, he walked through here and he couldn't believe it. He's like, you hit the queue. And because of that, he went back to Disney. He's like, we need to hide our lines like this, make the lines more interactive and enjoyable for guests. This ride is like you're on a train, going through a, uh, like a mine train. It's not like Big Thunder Mountain Railroad at all. It's not like fast like that. It's just a slow train. The speakers, I'll be honest with you, aren't that great. That kind of adds to the atmosphere and the ambiance of the whole attraction. See like this, a little water here. I'm mean, like, we're literally walking through the ride. They got like waterfalls. And you can walk in here and go into the little train station. And there is the train just pulled in guys. And we're gonna board this little train. It's like you just sit in a little, little car and your knees touch your friends. I'm gonna zoom in and show you. This is the Carson Hill Nugget. One of the largest gold nuggets ever found. Now that's just a replica of it, but it's huge. Get ready to take off. Now the player, don't wave goodbye to those 15 people. Come on, wave goodbye. Because with the way I've been driving, there's not much chance we're surviving. Oh, Here we are in the Calico Mine. Hey, 
Question: Do you guys serve alcohol here? Yeah. In the mine? Not in the mine. No. Oh, because there was miners. Uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a go. I don't think this is the time for that type of humor. It's not like the most thrilling ride, but it's kind of a classic. You have to do it. Oh my God. All right, guys, I'm gonna take us over to this Calico Saloon because I want to get some boysenberry lemonade. Now, if you come to Nazi Farm, that's the thing, it's boysenberry, not it's berry. The main thing is boysenberry and it's delicious, it's so good. And I have to show you, it's like, because we are here, it's noon, uh, it's a weekday, it's not very crowded. You can, and I've done this a lot. Oh, hang on, Kim, we wanna go over here. I wanna go over here, cause I wanna get, I wanna get boysenberry lemonade. They're going the wrong way. But you can come here, and literally, I've done this where I've gone here during the day, and then I'll go to Disneyland at night. All right, guys, I'm here in the Calcone Saloon. We're gonna get a little uh, boysenberry drink. Syrups, we have our boysenberry syrup, and then we have grenadine, vanilla syrup, and simple syrup, and lemon juice. We basically mix all those together in different proportions to create a boysenberry cream soda. That is boysenberry cream soda. Absolutely to die for. And they put it in these little, these little uh, like mason guard jars. Yes, which is also nice. You which is, keep the jar. you're gonna keep the jar. If this is, if you were to get one drink in all of Knott's Farm, this is the drink. I would have to confirm with that. Okay. So he's going over there. He's got a boysenberry syrup. He's pouring it in there. This is, I'm actually going to keep this a mystery. I don't want to show everything he's doing. Well, maybe it's kind of intense. He's pouring it in there. Oh, you're fine. You, you can walk it through. That's no problem. Not a problem at all. Um, and if you like cream soda, then you're going to come here. It's like, it's like a little angel comes down that's wearing stiletto heels, and she tap dance on your lips. It hurts a little bit, but you like it. You don't know why. That's, that's how good this drink is. I promise you, if you come and get this drink, you're gonna say, that's exactly the best description of it. It's and so good. It's the only place where you can get it at. This, oh, and yeah, this is the only place you can get it here, is here at the Calico Saloon. That's good, yeah. thank you for saying that. Yeah, the only place you can get it here is it's at the Calico uh, Saloon. He's over there, he's like pouring and mixing these drinks. Yeah, this is like a total like concoction yeah. and like, it's just delicious. Guys, look at this. Look how cute that is. We have no more tickets. All right, I'm with Jessica. She's trying her very first ever boysenberry cream soda. Ooh, that is so delicious. I know, isn't it amazing? I was, I was getting nervous there. I was like, oh no. No, it's so good. Oh, Guys, this is, this is the drink. So ah, ha, ha. Cheers, drink. Thank you guys. Oh, it's like a, it's cream soda, but has a heavy, heavy tilt towards the boysenberry. This is so good. All right, here I went, Melissa. She's like, is it really that good? She tried it, and what do you think? I liked it because it is tart and sweet. Sometimes cream soda is just too sweet. No, but there's a tartness. This, it's so good. Is it better than ice cream option? I should have listened to Chris. I know, see, see, now you know. Kim made a mistake, she went and got ice cream. I don't know why, but whatever. I love soft serve. Okay, I'm gonna show you something cool. There's a, a graveyard here, cemetery. I'll show you something that most people don't know. So let's go to the cemetery. Okay, so I got Jessica, I said, I'm gonna feel your reaction. She's like, to what? I'm like, just come here, you'll be, be fine. Okay, we're coming in here to the cemetery. All right. The 
This is it, Hiram McTavish. You stand on it, you can hear feel a heartbeat. Jessica, stand right there on that grave. Stand on the grave. Right? What happened? <laughs> That's awesome. You felt the heartbeat? Uh, or someone trying to get out. Was that, oh, was that what it was? Oh, it is. It does feel like somebody's trying to get out now. I think it's supposed to be a heartbeat, though, but you can feel it right there. Hiram McTavish. Kim, tell us, is it a heartbeat or is he trying to escape? His heart's trying to escape. His heart's trying to escape. That's so fun. This is awesome. It says that your, the heart will beat again. Oh, it's so on, the, on the tombstone? The heart will beat again? And they also have this is like a fun little photo op right there at the Boot Hill Cemetery photo op. Oh, right here. So this is okay. Come around. This is uh, the according to my wife, the best corn in the cob. She loves it. They have all different. They have this is normal, but they have like specially flavors during the um, like during the years goes on. I got uh, pulled pork and Texas toast, and they gave me some butter. So put the butter on the side, and we're good to go, guys. Let's go have some good food. I love this. They have a place where you wash your hands before you eat, or when you're done eating too. I think that's so good. I want right this there. is the pulled pork, guys. It is. I rec the, I've been told that's the best. That's a Texas toast. I just got done eating the pulled pork. Now I'm worried I got stuff in my teeth. But um, the thing about it is, I'm just gonna give you my completely honest opinion of this. If you are planning a trip down here to Disney and you have teenagers. You might want to consider coming one day here. It's about a 10 minute, 15 minute drive from Disneyland. You get Uber here real fast for the more thrilling rides. It, uh, little kids, they might not, I mean, little kids will still like it. I mean, Miles really likes this, but uh, it's really designed for thrilling, uh, crazy fun rides. And uh, during the weekday, it's not crowded here. This, this, this park here gets way more crowded on the weekends, but during the weekdays, it's not as crowded. So you come here and just enjoy it and then head back to Disney. It's really cool. And if you wanted to do that, like the link down below, you can, you can book your whole vacation. Like if you call Getaway today at 1-855-GETAWAY and you tell them that you want to do the knots at Disney, they'll coordinate everything for you and get all everything you need. All right, let's continue on. Whoa, look at that. It's showing all the sides, looking very good. Looking very good. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. I love it. You got your shovel. You got your shovel. You got the pickaxe, uh, cooking, everything you need to go mining. Perfect. All right, we're walking down here to the uh, Pony Express. You see the cart taking up right there. It's like a little roller coaster. You ride. It's kind of like Tron Light. For those in Florida, you sit on a pony and ride. Now, during the summertime, it can get really warm over here, but they have a ride over here, the Calico River Ride. I'll show it to you. <laughs> They're not kidding around here at Knott's though. If you ride it, you're gonna get wet. Like, wet, 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 wet. There's, there's a bear right there eating a fish. And this is some of the river, the rapids that they go through. Oh, there they go. Here they come. Be warned, you're gonna get splashed on though. But that's part of the fun. Uh, okay, this is the Pony Express. It's a little ride, you ride a little pony. All right, let's go do the Pony Express, guys. Walk right up here, and this is the track we get on. This is a very simple, easy roller coaster. Uh, little ones can ride on this one. It's not too scary. It doesn't go really fast. It's just kind of an out and back. You go out, you come right back. The ride just took off. Let's see come down this track. You'll see him come by. Horses that we're ride. I can't videotape what I'm riding, but this is what we're doing right there. Cutest little ride. It doesn't go very fast. It's just you're riding on a horsey. You go out and you come back, and I pretend like I'm getting like a bucking bronco. It's just a cute little ride. That's cute. Now, I do want to show you one thing, and for those of you who are maybe a delicate sensibilities, be very careful. This bucket is filled with baby rattlers. So, uh, yeah, caution, baby rattlers. I'm gonna show you. Uh, I don't wanna get too close to it. Yeah. 
caution, baby rattlers. This is a very another very thrilling ride called the Silver Bullet. Uh, it's a dangling roller coaster where your feet dangle. I'll show you as they come right around here. They're gonna come right around this corner and then go up. You'll see them just coming here. And uh, it's got lots of loops, twists and turns. Here they, oh, there they come. Oh, I already missed it, I already missed that part. Just kidding, here they come. Once again though, this is like more thrilling and fun. Teenagers, thrill seekers, those who like just love to have that adrenaline injection. This is it. We're in Fiesta Village. They have lots of good food here. And we're gonna check out some food here. Hey, introduce yourself to everybody. Hello, I'm Chuck Wagon. My name's Casey, but they call me Marshall Chuck Wagon. I'm glad to be here at Knott's. Oh, man. I'm glad, to meet, this, I'm glad to meet this guy. You're the best. I'm gonna go do Papa's Mexicanas and get these really cool fries. You ordered a burrito bowl? Burrito bowl, we have chicken in there. Uh, Check know, this we out. We got a corn salsa. Oh, oh my gosh, that looks so black good. Black beans. That looks amazing. There's lettuce on the bottom, so it's like a slightly healthy option too. Slightly healthy? I ordered the carne asada fries. I've a got slightly healthy option. A slightly healthy option. A slightly healthy option. There's potatoes in there and guac, so I feel good about it. <laughs> this right here is called the Jaguar. Um, it's good. It's not my favorite. It's kind of just like a cute little roller coaster. If you have little ones, they could probably do it. It's not too thrilling. Oh, let's see. No, that's that's Silver Bullet. But it's a good ride. Here we guys. We're just walking to the queue. Oh, little skulls. So. Here we are, the loading area of the Jaguar. Here's the Jaguar train, guys, about ready to take off. This is so scary. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa said this is her favorite ride at Knott's and I'm like I don't think you've been on this ride before I haven't that was my first time <laughs> I was like um, so exciting you were you're probably right about that one <laughs> it's yeah you guys it's it's just, if you have if nothing you else seven yeah that would be the best okay <laughs> even seven year olds are like I don't know <laughs> all right I'm gonna go do Silver Bullet we're very very thrilling roller coaster I, you're not gonna be able to videotape it when I'm on this because it's a dangly roller coaster. So fun though, very easy to, I mean, it's very thrilling. Um, very good roller coaster. Let's go in guys. It says it's a five minute wait time. We're going in Silver Bullet. This is why Knott's Ray Farm is awesome during the weekdays. This is now, of course, this is school, school time. This is a Thursday, nobody's here. During the school year, this the park is not really heavily attended during the weekday. Weekends, it is more attended. So, just kind of keep that in mind when you're planning your trip out here. Oh, look, there's hang time. There they go. That's so nerve wracking. And there they go. This one here, you have to, like glasses, hats, all that stuff, it's gotta come off because you do lots of corkscrews, loop-de-loops, uh, all kinds of inversions, all kinds of things. She's like, it's a silver bullet. She's like, is it called Soren over knots? You know, cause like Soren over California, but you're knots, your feet dangle. <laughs> I'm so funny. <laughs> She's so funny. She's funny, but no, it's not called Soarin' Over Knots. 
Not at all. And there's other people below you looking at your feet. <laughs> so this is where you can put your stuff right across there, the little cubbies. Come in, you put your stuff right across there. You walk through, put your stuff, and you come back and sit down. Now to put you in perspective, Not Spray Farm opened at 11 o'clock this morning. It's now two, a little after two. So it's been three hours. We, I've done almost every ride that I want to do here, all the thrilling rides, and I stopped at a pork sandwich, and then I stopped again and had carne asada fries. Whew, you get a lot done here. Alright, so I just rode the ride I did it with Ashley and Melissa. What'd you think? So good. It was great. So good. <laughs> Famous this is what Ashley said. She goes, I loved it until I didn't. <laughs> that sounds like a ringing endorsement of a ride. It is a little herky jerky, but it's fun. Very fun. I mean, you gotta you gotta experience it. Avert your eyes if you're allergic to cuteness. Ready? <laughs> So soft, so plush, so gentle, like a breeze on your face. All right guys, I, it's been about, it's literally about 2.30 here. I'm gonna be leaving Knott's Bay Farm and I'm gonna make another video that's gonna come out tomorrow. I'm gonna go to the famous packing district here at Anaheim. This has got some of the most amazing restaurants only locals know about. I'm gonna show you a bunch of those restaurants. I'm gonna go from restaurant, 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 show you some of the best food in Anaheim because you guys love food, I love food, let's go check it out. So, tomorrow's video, let's check out all the food in Anaheim that you probably didn't even know existed at this amazing place called the Packing District. Let's do that next. I'll talk to you later, bye-bye. Nuts Berry Farm. Today is amazing. It has some of the best thrill rides you can go on. Boom, pow, 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 pow. So, so fast. Go, do. Oh, and they have amazing food. Do, 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 do. You eat a lot, then you ride really fast, and you're like, man, maybe I shouldn't mix those up together, but you did anyways.